Oh my God, I love you, I love you. You're so beautiful. Oh, oh love deathness. Everyone's gone charging into the fields. Uh, but since it's still raining, reasonably heavily, uh, I've found a bit of shelter while I'm back at the car. Having a coffee, naturally. I hope the audio is okay this week. I've put it in a different position. Um, so what's new this week? Well, apart from we're in Wiltshire, rather than uh, Somerset, um, those that know Wiltshire, um, there's a, a white horse across the valley uh, over there, so you'll know roughly what area I'm in, but I'm not being any more specific than that. Um, I'm on a farm where Steve uh, had a dig last week, today, I think, and I found loads of great stuff, a lot of stuff. Made me really jealous that I weren't out. Um, and the other thing that's uh, new this week, which you, you may have noticed, um, is uh, an XP Deus with a 11 inch X35 coil. I'm back with my beloved again. Uh, it's been really hard this last couple of years without a Deus. Uh, so I'm not going to waffle on anymore. I'm hoping for some reasonable things today. Uh, and uh, the forecast is for the rain to stop about uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, so I'll brave it in a bit uh, and, and go out in anticipation of it starting to dry up. And no gates today. <laughs> okay then, about 81. Sorry about that, I forgot to turn the camera on. But it's a lot drier here. It's not that waterlogged, oh. clear that I in before that not good anymore. Oh, it is, you know. Did I can see anything now? Oh, let's see it. What's that? Well, let me get the uh, squirty bottle on that one. It's a cutter. Uh, silver hammered cutter. Let's bring you in. Long cross. Uh, yeah, long cross. Can I make out a uh, probably one of the Edwards just avoided long cross. So uh, probably Edward the third, Edward the second. Oh, I don't know, I've got that wrong. Anyway, I'll find out who it is and let you know. So, first up for me, is a silver hammered. Well, I'm getting an 86. Good, solid. Get a lot of faults in as well, that's a turn the sensitivity there. Sorry, I turned you off while I was moving the uh, the camera. Right, let's have a look. So it's in the plug somewhere. Okay. As usual, I've hacked the plug up without putting the pin pointer on. 
I thought, well, you hear the pinpoint, it's going through the headphones. You should be able to because the, the uh, microphone is behind the head. Can't see anything. Oh, what's that? It's round. I'm bored if I can see anything on it. Wait a minute, I've got me. The eye thing is here. Whoops. Back to my magic coin cleaning trousers. Now that side looks a bit... I can vaguely see a, a bust facing right, so George the first George the third uh, white horse on the hill on the opposite side of the valley uh, if you know Wiltshire you'll know where it is and this willow an old cracked willow I know they ain't got an amazingly long life willows but this one's certainly seen some history look at that yeah. Yeah. If they could talk, there'd be a few tales that they could tell. Uh, 86 again. I've changed programs. I were on hot before. Uh, yeah, nice signal. But I'm on uh, that line there. Sniper on uh, about 18 megs yeah definitely worth digging that one I'm loving having the dance again can't see anything obvious right well something's there Virtually on the surface, for it looks a bit. It's certainly in the sod. Yeah. Stop doing that, I can't see anything. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's round. Oh, it's golden coloured. Oh, it's also green coloured. <laughs> I don't think gold tarnishes, does it? Uh, can you see it? Are you at right, right angle? Oh, you should be able to see now. Squirter bottle. It's probably a medallion rather than a coin. And as I say, I don't think gold... Uh, tarnishes <laughs> it's not going to be gold could be plated but it looks like a coin there's a bust and an inscription round the, the margin fake Roman bright green patina the cow fields it's probably had a lot of cow pee on it um, it looks Romanish but <laughs> what's this side if it is Roman it's fake I 
and it's a bit too round for a Roman. Yeah, it's uh, milled edges, I think. Bit too corroded this side, I think. Oh no, this one was a bust. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. We might look it'll be Charles and Diana a memorial coin or something like that. It is a medallion, I think there's a hole drilled through it up there, yeah. So it has been worn as a medallion or part of a charm bracelet. Well, that's definitely male. Let's get me high extending thing, where I put it. It sounds like a, a shallow. Yeah, it's repeatable. Yeah, it's still in the hole. Magic Trousers of Truth It's a penny George V, did you have a George V this week? George V penny and it's um, if it's 1919 again that's more than coincidence Spaces I've already given the 1919 memory. Oh, 1918, I think. Let's have a look with my extra eye. My eye looking thing. Yeah, 1918. Incidentally, I don't know whether you... I'm, I'm doing a monologue there. I don't know whether you saw uh, my friend Gadzi uh, in Australia. Him and uh, Chris, Vogus Prospecting, are two uh, gold prospectors. Well, Gadzi's a metal detectorist as well. Uh, they both have detectors, but they de tend to detect for gold but Gadzi detects for coins and artefacts. Found some lovely uh, 1700s uh, Chinese coins uh, last week or a week before because the, the Chinese were some of the earliest diggers out in the Australian uh, gold fields. Uh, so I came across a Chinese camp and there were these coins there. Brilliant things. Anyway, I sent Gadzi, uh, a bookshop prospector, um, a box of stuff, fairly common, uh, a few Roman grots, uh, uh, some worn silver hammers, various bits and pieces, not amazingly special, nothing amazingly valuable, um, but definitely older than anything that we find in Australia. So I did share that on my Facebook, but what I might do is uh, share it on me uh, YouTube as well. So go along and uh, watch uh, Bookshop Prospector's channel. Uh, not only is it very funny, 
it, it is interesting. He finds uh, a lot of gold. It, it, he's a true prospector. He goes out and looks for places where gold might have been deposited. He don't go to known deposits and just start panning stuff that's been left behind. He actually goes out prospecting and finds it. Uh, and his mate Chris, um, Volgus prospecting. Uh, they, both of them. Um, <laughs> they're very funny as a double act but certainly sign up to both subscribe to both Volga Pro Volgus Prospecting and Bookshot Prospector you'll not be disappointed so that's the advert for the day over uh, and I think it's heading to the car for a cup of coffee right I'm back at the car for lunch and uh, you know how I always seem to have a disaster on uh, ninth <laughs> legion, ninth region digs. Uh, I've had one again. Not falling down. Not gate climbing. Not flooded detectors. Not anything like that. Got back to the car for a bit of lunch and have a coffee, and we're cleaning up my finds to have a, try and identify them. And that cut half I found, I've just dropped down my centre console, down where the and breakers so I've got some <laughs> quite extensive uh, uh, trim car trim dismantling to do when I get home to uh, find it it's, it's in there I just <laughs> can't get to it so uh, I can't show you that one but the others um, 1918 um, what did I say it were George V penny now i can't get excited about these because when i were a kid we used to spend them <laughs> they were everyday pocket money uh, so to me that they're nothing unusual the you know uh, perhaps a viking but uh, <laughs> victoria would have been uh, interesting but uh wait a minute, i thought lost something anyway um that thing Still no idea where it is. I think it's, I don't know, French, Belgian, something like that. The only thing I can make out on it is 1718. Uh, that's the only date. So I'll have to clean it up to make sense of all the rest of the stuff. Um, whether it says Regent or Argent or... I don't know. But it's someone uh, being pretentious with a, a, a Roman Emperor style laurel leaf on one side and a woman with a fancy hairdo on other so right where's me other one gone oh it's there i put it out to dry this one the coin in nothingness i've tried really hard to uh, work out what it is um but it's just gonna have to wait till i get home No. Nah. If in doubt, George the Third. But it could be George the First. It'd be nice if it were. Yeah. I think it's about a farthing size, or it could be an early eighty size. So, um, yeah. So that's me so far. So I've got. Three in the box and one in the uh, centre console by the handbrake when I dropped it. So, so back to my lunch. Oh, and by the way, Suzanne, my daughter, uh, yes, it is a healthy lunch. It consists of an apple, two clementines, and a low fat mull of rice. So, uh, dieting. Yeah. Bye. Been since I saw thee on Ilkley Moor Bar.